Life on the American frontier was hard. Prairie settlers were isolated from each other by vast distances. Their families were plagued by hunger and disease. Their crops ravaged by insects and drought. This harsh reality was a far cry from romantic notions about cowboys and Indians. Many of the settlers gave up, but most hung in, refusing to relinquish their dreams and their hard-won land. It took a woman to immortalize their epic struggle. In 1913, Nebraska novelist Willa Cather wrote, O oh, Pioneers, a landmark in American literature. The first time a large-scale story was told from a female's point of view. Cather's frontier heroine, Alexandra Bergson, played by Jessica Lange, is the forerunner of today's strongly independent woman. O Pioneers begins during the somber winter months of 1883. At the Bergson homestead, the mood is particularly bleak. Young Alexandra Bergson is entrusted by her dying father with a staggering responsibility. Alexandra, you will have to do the best you can for your brothers now. Everything will come on you. You're the head of the family now. I know you love your brothers, but we both know they'd lose every inch we've gained inside a year. Don't let them get discouraged and go off. I want them to keep the land. We will, Papa. We will never lose the land. Echo! Run away to crazy of ours! Buy a hammock! Want to come along? Yes? Carl Lindstrom, artist and dreamer, is Alexandra's soulmate. He joins Alexandra and her three brothers on a visit to Ivar, her closest friend and confidant. Should you be running on the Sabbath? If running to sin, the Lord wouldn't have made jackrabbits. Better tell Emil, Carl. If old crazy Ivar comes a howling after him, he better hide in the gopher. Stop old. now. <laughs> He's not crazy. He just has a different set of feelings about things. Ivar is a mystic who talks to God and feels the pulse of the land. Regarded as deranged by other settlers, to Alexandra and Carl, Ivar is a dreamer like themselves. Ivar, look, a seagull. Yeah, came in yesterday, caught between two oceans. She cried all night, came racing toward the house van, seeing the light, thought it was a boat, maybe. There she goes. Yeah. She knows she doesn't belong here. Too far away from where she wants to be. There are people like that. Yes, there are. Well, it's settled. We're really going away. My father was offered his job back at the cigar factory in St. Louis. I'm going to study with a German engraver. Then maybe to Chicago or New York. I'm not sure. Yes, you have to go. You're wasting your life here. But all the same, I can't help feeling scared when I think how I'll miss you. More than you'll ever know. He sendeth the springs into the valleys, which run among the hills, and they give drink to every beast of the field. Is that right, Eivar? Carl? Can you hear me, Carl? Am I crazy? I'm staying, Carl, staying with the land. Fifteen years. They call me Miss Bergson now, Carl. My dream has come true. What I felt stirring in the long grass was the future. The land has come to life. How I wish you could see it. 
O Pioneers, a Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation, was filmed in Nebraska in association with Craig Anderson Productions and Lorimar. Director Glenn Jordan is a five-time Emmy winner whose Hallmark credits include Home Fires Burning, Sarah Plain and Tall, and Promise. Well, I love the story. It's really the story about the land. And I think it's such a beautifully written book. I love the characters, and I love the whole sort of atmosphere and milieu of the book. And I thought it would be a wonderful challenge to try and recreate that on film, to recreate that atmosphere and to make the land a character. It's the story of relationships. It's the story of people that change from the beginning to the end. And we watch the complications of their lives, of what happens to them, how they grow, how they become different. Don't you know me, Alexandra? I would have known you anywhere. Oh, can it be Carl Lindstrom? Oh, Carl it is! Millie, run tell your father and Uncle Oscar, our old friend Carl Lindstrom is here. Be quick! Jessica is quite phenomenal, I think. She's playing a very hard character. And I think it's hard is because these are Scandinavian people. These are immigrants who, whose feelings are mostly kept inside. And Jessica Lange has always played these verbose women who are very strong and dynamic and verbal. And this character is the opposite of that. She sort of is interior and she keeps to herself. Well, she's a wonderful actress and she really understands the character. And it's just such a great gift to have her because she's she is the character for me. I just can't conceive of the character as anybody else. Why are you so dissatisfied with yourself? How direct you always are. Well, you see, measured by your standards here, I'm a failure. I've enjoyed many things, but I've got nothing to show for it all. Oh, but you show for it yourself, Carl. I would rather have had your freedom than my land. And I would rather have Emil grow up like that than like his brothers. I felt that as soon as you came. You know, being here with you, I feel almost as if I'd never left. Pioneers is the first film Jessica Lange has made for television. She was attracted to the project because of her love for the work of Willa Cather. Well, I think she's a great American writer. I always have, and uh, when I heard that this was going to be done, you know, I was very interested in playing this character because I think it's such a beautifully written character, one you don't come across very often. I love Willa Cather. I, you know, I've been, uh, I've been an admirer of her work for many years. Willa Cather, born in Virginia in 1873, grew up in Red Cloud, Nebraska, among the settlers she described in O Pioneers. She capped off a distinguished career as a journalist, teacher, and novelist by winning a Pulitzer Prize. In O Pioneers, she created a strong modern heroine, a woman willing to stand up for her beliefs. I know you boys well enough. When you don't say anything, it means you want something. If this is a body of ours, you can save your breath. I don't want to curse on Saturday. It's about Carl Lindstrom. He's been here near a month. People have started to talk. Everybody knows Carl is just after your money, your property. Oh, I see. It's not my good name that concerns you. It's my money and my property. We always listen to you. Now, you better listen to us. All you got came from the old homestead that Lou and I worked so hard at. Why, Lou, I can remember when you and Oscar wanted to sell the homestead and all improvements to old preacher Erickson for $2,000. You would have gone down to the river and scraped along on poor farms for the rest of your lives. 
You fought me about planting alfalfa because I'd heard about it from a young man who had been to the university. Alfalfa has been the salvation of this country. I had to raise three big wheat crops before my neighbors quit putting all their land into corn. Why, Lou, you cried when we planted the first wheat. You said everybody was laughing at us. That's the woman of it. If she tells you to put in a crop, she thinks she's put it in. Makes women conceited to meddle in business. A frequent visitor to the O Pioneer set was Professor Susan Rosowski of the University of Nebraska, the world's leading Willa Cather scholar. Well, what I've seen with, um, now I've read several versions of the script, and what I've seen in corresponding with Glenn Jordan and then meeting him is a, first of all, a scrupulous um, attention to detail and, and a care to, to get it right. I was so pleased that Hallmark is the one that is doing O Pioneers because I think Hallmark will set the standard for for productions as they enter the public domain. The good news is is that there is a Willa Cather expert under every bush that we turn over. Uh, they're in the antique stores and in the grocery stores. They are uh, selling uh, fruit by the side of the road or vegetables. Uh, everybody knows that we are here. Everybody knows this novel because they have studied it one time or, or the other. And of course Willa Cather is a big name around here. So they're quite pious to her and reverend toward the, our approach to the material. What is it, Eli? Mistress, there's been talk about me lately. What kind of talk? About uh, sending me to the asylum. Nobody has come to me with such talk. You know I would never consent to such a thing. They say you cannot prevent it if the folk complain of me, if your brothers complain to the authorities. I'm still running my own house. So long as I'm suited with you, there's nothing to be said. You know that my spells come from God. I would not harm any living creature. Let people go on talking as they like. We will go on living as we think best. They want everyone to fit in now. They don't like anyone to be different. Everyone calls him crazy, but he's not crazy. He's a man of the earth. He lives in a sod house. He never wears shoes, and he, uh, he's a man of nature. The wisdom he teaches, he doesn't teach to teach. It's just his reaction to, to what he sees around him, his joy in God and nature and and the beauty of the earth. We'll start an asylum for old time people. Then we'll all go. <laughs> this is always the way, mistress. I come to you sorrowing. You send me away with a light heart. This project would not have been attempted if it weren't for Hallmark. As a producer, one of the things I'm constantly doing is walking around Los Angeles trying to get people interested in my movies. And I could see myself taking the script of O Pioneers and marching it into anybody's office and having me thrown out, going, I won't make this movie. And the reason is, is it's a costume piece, it's a period piece, and it takes place over a long period of time. You've seen Lou and Oscar, haven't you? Yes. And now you're going away? It's not because of them. Honestly, I can't stay. If I don't do this one important thing on my own, I'd never make a good husband. I'd always be just around, like a permanent guest, never knowing where to sit at the table with the hired hands. I have a feeling. If you go away, you won't come back. Something will happen to one of us. People have to snatch at happiness when they can in this world, Carl. I don't need money, but I've needed you for a long time. What I have is yours if you care enough about me to take it. To take what you'd give me, I'd either have to be a very large man or a very small one, and I'm only in the middle class. 
This is a great gamble for me, Alexandra. Can't you see? If I don't give you up now, try to make something of myself, I could never hope to keep you one day. Forever. Yes, you will. Emil, too, is going away. All at once, in a single day, I seem to lose everything, and I don't know why. Old Pioneers is the 172nd presentation of the Hallmark Hall of Fame. <laughs>